hello guys welcome to mtech viral and in this video i am going to tell you about how can you create an application an ios application basically under 5 minutes and without any programming language needed so let's get started so guys as you know that uh, whenever you want to make an application you need some programming language to do that thing but uh, in this tutorial i am going to tell you that uh, if you want to create an ios application you don't need any programming language you can create it by uh, you know by just dragging and dropping some particular components and this is very easy so i am going to do this with the help of a software with the help of an application which is uh, zojo and uh, we are going to implement a normal web view application and uh, this will take not more than 5 minutes so how we will do we will select zojo and uh, this is how our screen will look like so i am going to uh, tell you about how you can create desktop web and console applications also but today we are only going to do the ios thing and now when we select ios from here we have to give an application name so let's give it example app and i have to give the company name so i have already written it as mtech viral so and there is a application identifier which will uh, uniquely identify your application so i'll press okay and here you can see this is the screen of the emulator basically this is how uh, your phone's screen will look like there is no components here so we will uh, drag and drop some components here so what i am going to do i am going to uh, put a url field here so th this is basically a text field and uh, another thing i am going to use is this button here so this will be my button and third thing i am going to do is i am going to take a web viewer html viewer so this is my html viewer so this is all we need and uh, now what we have to do we have to give these some other names because what happens that uh, whenever we make an application it should be understood you know the component should be easy to understand that what uh, the purpose of that particular button or something so what i am going to do i am going to give it a name so they are all the controls on the right hand side you can see you can use any one of them and uh, now i am going to select the inspector from here and now on whatever view you click you can see the values the properties of that particular view or the component on the right hand side here i can set the name to some other this is basically the id name so i am going to name it as a show button now you can see its caption is untitled so i am going to change it as show so this is fine now i'll click enter and it has been renamed to show now i'll click on url field i am going to name its id as url field and there is a text untitled so i am going to change it as a, a url which is https www. let's say wikipedia.org so this is fine and uh, i'll click enter now i'll go to my web view this is html viewer one so it's fine so what i have to do now i have to whenever i click the show button it should show me the uh, wikipedia page uh, in the bottom so i'll click on show button i'll double click here i'll select action from here so now what i have to do i have to load a url to the web view so so i will call the web view here which is html viewer one dot load url so you can press the tab button to complete it and uh, so you have so you have to load the url from the url field so i'll select the url field from here dot text this is all we have to do and i'll this is fine and i will run this application so let's run this application so before running this application you have to make sure that you have x xcode uh, software in your system because it needs xcode to compile these uh, applications and uh, to run any simulator or emulator you need xcode 
so xcode is needed so this is how your application will look like whenever uh, i'll click on the show button it should show me the wikipedia page so i'm going to click it so i clicked on the show button and you can see the wikipedia page has been loaded and i can select english from here so this is how it will work and uh, you can see this is very easy and it didn't take more than 5 minutes to build this application so you can explore this more and you can make a very uh, great looking application from this software so that is all from this tutorial i hope that uh, you liked our tutorial if you if you are liking our tutorials then please press the like button and if you want to motivate me for more tutorials or more videos any tech related videos then please subscribe to my channel thank you so much